gentlemen, welcome to Suwarnapum Airport. Hello everyone, hello from Suvarnabhumi Airport in Bangkok. So today's vlog is about complete guide Suvarnabhumi Airport from the departures, arrivals and everything you need to know if you are at this airport. This vlog will be divided into two parts. The first part will be about the guide and everything you need to know at the airport. And the second part will be how to take the airport link and every transportation available from this airport to downtown Bangkok. So let us start it right now. First of all guys, before we start, let me tell you what are the things that I will explain and show you in today's vlog. The first section will be the second floor, the arrivals, where I will show you the process after the baggage claim, the exit points, how to exchange money, how to buy a SIM card, the meeting points and where private taxis or guides waits you. Then we will head to the first floor to show you where you can get the public taxi or shuttle bus and also from where you can take buses to Pattaya or Huahin. And after that, I will show you the base floor, the best money exchange services, sleep boxes, and from the base floor, we will head to the third floor to the restaurants, the food section, and our last part will be the departures floor. So a very informative and useful vlog, let us start it right now. Now this is the terminal guide. As you can see, the second floor is the arrival floors. So let's go to the second floor and show you first where is the meeting point. Today the airport is kind of busy although we are not at the weekend. So here we are guys, the yellow sign that you can see is the meeting point. And here people wait for international arrivals. So if you want to meet anyone then they are going to meet you here. You can see this section is located at the 6th, 5th and the 4th exit points. So if someone waiting for you at the airport, you should head to these points. Now when you arrive to the airport and pass the immigration, claim your baggage, then head to the nearest exit point. No need to wander, just take the first one you see and go to the arrival section. Here the first thing you have to check is which exit point you are at. This is exit 9. So if you want to meet someone then you have to walk to the exit 4 or 5. Along the way you will see here lots of money exchange services and phone sim card companies. My advice to you, if you want to exchange money here, then exchange as less as possible. Cause the rates are not the best here. I am going to show you later where to exchange money with the best rates. You have also ATM machines, car rent services and private taxi services. And concerning the SIM card, buy from any company, they are all the same. Just take the package that fits your stay and necessity. So again, don't waste time, just pick one. Now guys, if you continue walking, you will reach the meeting point, as I have showed you before. So after exchanging money and buying SIM card, just walk straight and you will reach the meeting point. Here also, the pre-booked private taxis will wait for you. Let me give you another information before we go to the first floor and show you where you can get the public taxi. If you pass by the meeting point and continue walking straight, you will reach the domestic arrival section. 
So if you want to meet someone at the domestic rivals, it's at the end of this part. Now as you can see the public taxis and the buses are located at the first floor. Let's go down to the first floor and explain the process there. So my friends once you get to the first floor just take the first exit out to head to the public taxi section. Here we are at exit 3. Let's go out and show you how to catch a public taxi. Here you can see the sign public taxis and buses. So let's walk to the public taxis. The taxis are waiting at the right side all numbered. You have to walk to the first vending machine to take your ticket and the number of the taxi. Two options available, regular taxi or big taxi depending how many people you are and of course if you have lots of luggage. So these are the machines, just press the taxi and get your number. After that, head to the taxi that your number indicates and tell the address. It's metered and nothing to worry. Now let's go back to the first floor from exit 7 and show you where you can take buses to Hua Hin and Pattaya or maybe Ayutthaya. So once you enter back from exit 7, you will walk to the right side to head to the buses section. And if you want to buy tickets, it's from here. There is a bus every 1 hour. And the prices are so cheap. And of course the buses are waiting for you just outside at the right side of the public taxis. Now let's go to the base floor and show you from where you can take the airport link and what are the things available there. You can see from the sign we have to turn left to the airport link and the hotels available at the airport. But check this street food restaurant, it's so cheap if you want to have a meal before you take the airport link. Now my friends from here you can take the airport link to downtown Bangkok. But that will be in our second part of this vlog. Now let me show you where to exchange money and where you can sleep and maybe put your luggage in boxes. Here you have the luggage boxes if you want to leave them at the airport with very affordable prices. A pocket Wi-Fi rental and of course the best money exchange services. So here, exchange your money with the best rates, just at the base floor behind the airport link. Keep that in mind.
Now, if you continue walking straight, you will find the airport hotels, from the small capsule ones like spaceships boxes. I have tried them, not a bad experience for one night. And the other boxes types. And if you wanna pay more, then you will get a real room. So this was about the base floor, now let's go to the third floor. So my friends, as you can see, the third floor are the restaurants and the shops. So if you want to eat and shop, then the third floor is the section. You have many restaurants, a pharmacy, a lot of choices from international foods into Thai food and fast food chains. And if you want to buy some vitamins, medicines, then it's available too. Now let's go to the last section, the fourth floor, the departures floor, and tell you what you need to know there. So guys, here the departures floor is divided into two parts, the international departures at the right side and the domestic departures at the left side. Let's walk to the end of the international departure side to show you where you can get the VAT refund. Here is the first step of your VAT refund. You have to show them the item you bought and the yellow paper, they will check it for you and stamp it. After that, when you are at the duty free zone, you have to show another time the stamp paper and the item in another VAT refund section to get the money. If you forget to stamp your paper at this section, then you won't get your money, so don't forget that. Now in this floor you can buy also SIM card and of course wrap your bags. And moreover the information section at the middle. Now let's walk to the domestic departure section. As you can see they are in the first letter section like A, B, C, D. And the internationals are after that. So all in all these are the things that you should know at least about Suvarnabhumi airport. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and had an idea about Suvarnabhumi Airport. Don't forget to watch the second part which will be about how to transport from Suvarnabhumi Airport to use all the transportations available to downtown Bangkok. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.